Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about something called Sun Valley. What is that? That's the code name of the complete user interface um, overall that will happen to Windows 10 in the second half of 2021. It uh, start. It's starting to slowly show its uh, first um, little, you know, have little peaks of here and there of of things that's going to be changed. So of course, it all has to do with the fact that the uh, user interface on Windows 10 is going to be reworked uh, in the late in the next version of Windows 10. That is the full version in second half of 2021. So what's going to happen is that we see little bits here and there. I've shown you a little bit of uh, some of the basics that are, um, you know, rounded edges in Windows. Um, in the Insider builds, uh, we're starting to see a little bit of things. The Dev Channel build has animations of when you actually, you know, uh, open or close Windows. Instead of being like real, it just opens. It kind of has a little animation to open it and to close it. They're adding effects to the different menus like that. Of course, they're adding a rework or revamp of the um, start menu, the, the feel, the look of the start menu, the way things are happening. Um, one of the things also is we've seen, um, if you're on the uh, Insiders, some of you might have seen a brand new alarm and clock app that is completely redone. That also gives us an idea of where they're going with Sun Valley and the user interface revamp. So this is uh, interesting. I think it's going to be what's going to be the biggest, the most exciting side of 2021, checking out all the new features and the new details of that look and that feel of Windows 10. It also will integrate probably, and that's kind of the continuation, a lot of people are asking about Fluent Design. Well, Fluent Design is still a thing. Uh, Fluent Design is probably part or a big part of that revamp, kind of adding that Fluent Design feel, look everywhere. One of the things also they are going to hopefully fix because you you know we don't see every part of the menus, but of course a lot of us know that when you go to the different menus and even in the settings app, the uh, there's no consistent font. There's nothing. It, there's are different fonts at different places, at different looks, different sizes of of these fonts, and uh, of course that makes it very. Um, weird to go from one page to another or one setting to another to have a different style. Well, that should technically be unified because we know that they are going to rework on all the fonts used for the different menus, which means maybe finally a consistent look and feel everywhere in the menu, in the start menu, in the settings app, in the control panel. Everything will be kind of unified in the same feel, same font, same text size, because it could be a problem for some that this isn't consistent. So that's what we know, and that's what's coming. Uh, and actually, we're hearing a little rumors here and there that it's going to be a pretty big change. And um, once again, there's also the rumor that it will be something that you can actually say no to if you don't want that new feel. So that apparently is due to the fact that Enterprise might not want to have that new feel immediately or at all. So we're going to keep track of this. And as we get more details and information, it's going to be interesting to, to kind of do a little detective work and find out what's going to happen. So that's going to be only in October or November probably of 2021. But in between that, anyone that will want to see this in advance, of course, um, we'll probably start seeing a lot of that early next year, January, February, on the Insider program. Uh, so this is going to be kind of cool to watch and uh, to see in advance all of the new uh, look and feel of the interface of Windows 10. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.